Evangelion Saitar. Evangelion Saitar. They're, they're kind of cousins. Saitar! On Facebook, I saw so many people sharing pictures of them today versus them 10 years ago. So much has evolved over the time and while I don't have that many pictures on Facebook back from 10 years ago, I was wondering is there anyone who would know with that much detail, just a shred more than Facebook, what I was like 10 years ago. Just go to google.com and then sign into your account and click on that profile picture of your. This one is for Chrome actually and this is for what's signed. I think you can just merge that now. Google, now is like a good time. I think that's where App Store. You open the App Store, that's me with a mustache. You know, I think they are neater. Google, what are you doing? Up your game. This decade is your decade, Google. Up your game, bro. So click on this picture over here and then click on manage your Google account. And under data and personalization, go to my activity. On the filter, click before and then click on the year 2020. And then it, uh, you can go back to, let's say 2010 and hit apply. So this is all your Google searches before 6 January 2010. I didn't look this up before shooting, so I'm watching this. I'm checking this out for the first time with you right now, like live, although it's not, but you, you get what I'm saying. Bombay Beat Club, what's Bombay Beat Club? Let's just up the volume on that. Third October 2010. I don't even know where I heard that. If you have heard of Bombay Beat Club before, I haven't heard of Bombay Beat Club. <sighs> so eBay. What did I look up on eBay? Sorry, this shop does not exist. I, I think this is kind of going to be a trend over here. Nothing is going to exist anymore. The hearing aid. Who's this dude? Bombay Bicycle Club. What? Did I move to Bombay in 2010? 2011. I moved to Bangalore back then. Why was I looking up stuff in Bombay? Get yourself down to the rainbow on Tuesday and catch hotter than a cross bun. Top topical. More? New York Centers the Virgins. What is this? Bombay Bicycle Club. One of my... One of many thousands of bands that keep... I don't even know who that is. Do you know who this is? Let me know in the comments if you do. Trustdeals.net Doesn't work. Dailymobile.se Ah, this I remember. This I remember. I was so into this phone, the HTC Touch Diamond. And back then, when I dreamt big, I wanted uh, a nice motorbike and I wanted a nice phone. And this was my idea of a nice phone. Something has, so much has changed over the time. Okay, um, HTC Touch Diamond White. But I, I like the black better. Check this out, okay. This video. charging thing you know and the light came up left right up and down you know this was windows phone contact you could just do that or you could do that it had a wiper that could 4 gigs of internal storage and it had like music 4 gigs is nothing for photos and music
I was a big fan. I just stayed with HTC so long after this. I got the HTC sensation thinking that it will be that much better. It was a huge disappointment that phone. It was a good phone, but you know, it was not as exciting as the Diamond. The Diamond had such good animations on the interface. Windows by itself for mobile was bad back in the day. Look at the HTC Artemis. I had that too. Dad, thank you. For all the phones you've got me, I think that's what got me into this one was a gift from my dad. I, it was not a gift from my dad. I bugged my dad into getting me a used HTC Touch Diamond. Let's look at what else we have. Of course, there's another HTC Touch Diamond, another HTC Touch Diamond. I was a big fan of this phone. I don't think I was that excited for any phone after the Diamond. I mean, phones just got so much better with time. But nothing was so well marketed with this, those prism cuts behind or that excellent um, animations. You know, the contacts, you know, when he scrolled it, it had a kind of a to it, you know, that attention to detail. ATDMT.com. Oh, that's a Facebook link. Doesn't work. Motorola consumers 404 error. Indescribable. Ah, indescribable. Na 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 na. You place the stars in the. Chris Tomlin, yeah. There was another guy, Louis Giglio. Louis Giglio. Is that how he spelled his name? I know, it's the I E. This guy had made a video, Indescribable 2. Yeah, Indescribable 2. Yeah, I was heavily into these guys back in the day. Bloodydisgusting.com Showthread.php What is this? What is this? Bloodydisgusting.com Error 404 Attitude quote Think exist Whenever you are in conflict with someone, there is one factor that can make the difference between damaging your relationship and deepening it. That factor is attitude. How did I get here? Not a think exist member? Smile while it hurts most. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Okay. Who's Jeff Blue? On why he loves West. What's West? L uh, signed Limp Biscuit and Con. Yeah. Limp Biscuit. I had. I, I love the song by Limp Biscuit. I think my friend Ralph introduced me to Limp Biscuit. Roland. I love the Mark Wakefield. Damn, I looked up so many people. Mark Wakefield. No, that's Chester Bennington. Who is Mark Wakefield? Original lead vocalist of American new metal band Zero, which was later renamed Hybrid Theory. Who is this guy? I didn't even know that. Hybrid Theory was an album by Linkin Park, wasn't it? Mark Wakefield is a manager of the band Tam Fruit and is the former singer of Zero, the band that eventually became Linkin Park. I looked this up and I don't remember it. He met Mike Shinoda in high school and joined the band who were at that point called Super Zero. They revised the name to Zero and recorded their self-titled Zero sampler tape featuring the song Fuse, Reading My Eyes. Was it X E R O? Yeah. Damn, it looks so dark. When you strike a match in life, it burns fitfully, sputtering these little things. The shortest you'll be ripped on. You fell off, but it's my lurch, you just slipped on. That was like Linkin Park. I have no idea. I've forgotten all this stuff. Mark Wakefield. View 17 more items. Phoenix Farrell. Johan. Johan, Linkin Park. Who's Johan? Jo ah, this guy is one of those Linkin Park dudes. The guy with the, the, the thing. We had this Windows computer and I kept changing wallpapers. Showwallpaper.com. Is this the right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Damn, I was a Linkin Park fan, man. View image from newdream.de. Linkin Park. This is hybrid theory. No, Meteor, was it? Yeah, this thing is Meteor. This brings us back so many memories. I looked for blogger. What's Evangelion? This is like me reacting. Oh my god. Evangelion. What is this? Damn, it looks. 
this looks like that Pokemon, you know, like Scyther. Do, do you guys know Scyther? Scyther. 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 Yeah, there. This Pokemon and this Evangelion. They're quite similar, aren't they? Evangelion, Scyther. Evangelion, Scyther. They're, they're kind of cousins. I had a couple of friends who watched a lot of anime and manga, uh, manga, and they kept telling me to, you know, check out uh, a lot of these things. And I've never got into it. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Because if I actually look at more stuff, I think it's never going to stop. There's just so much that Google knows about you and me, about me in this case, about you and me. Actually, to make it more interesting, before you actually go and check it out on Google, think about what you were into back in the day. Uh, 2010, 10 years ago. What were you into back in the day? And leave a comment about that and then you can check out um, on Google's My Activity like I showed you. This week's video was a little different. The first video in 2010, it was a little different, uh, but there was tech, hey, there was tech, there was me. So I think that's the principle of most of my videos. There should be me, smiling face, and then there should be tech. And see you guys next year at this day. And in that time, keep learning. Yeah.